Jackrabbit's events module is designed for birthday parties, open houses, or other one-time events. Here's how to get started by creating the event type. Go to Events on the menu and select Add Event Type. Enter a name, location, and a Category 1 to designate where revenue for this event will be allocated. You may enter an event fee which will post to the family's account when they enroll. Or you may post an event fee later for each event date with the Post Event Fees button. Set Allow Enrollment 4 to Family or Student as the default for the event type. Select Student to allow customers to enroll up to five students on your event registration form. Set the maximum size field to 1 if your event is for one family or student, such as a private lesson or to host a birthday party. If you have ePayments enabled, you may require parents to save a payment method before enrolling into this event type. If your settings require parents to make payments in the parent portal, you may omit this event type from requiring payment in the parent portal. Choose whether you want to automatically post an event fee when a customer registers, and if so, complete the Transaction Details section. The Display on Calendar section sets how the event type displays on your internal and external calendars. You can choose if this event type is displayed to customers, and if so, how it's displayed on your external event calendar in the Parent Portal and on your website. The Calendar Header field applies if you filter your calendar by the event type on your website. Enter an email address or multiple email addresses separated by a semicolon to receive enrollment notification emails. On the Description tab, you may enter an internal description and a description for the event registration form for this event type. Add questions specific to this event type on the Questions tab. There are four types of questions you may use to prompt customers to answer before they submit their event registration. You may set them as optional, required, or hidden and change the order if needed. Add any legalese or verbiage you would like your customers to agree to on the Agreements tab by clicking the Add Agreement text button. Refer to our Help Center for information on adding event dates and times for the event type. 